In August, celebrity couple Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis offered up their picturesque Santa Barbara County cottage for one night only on Airbnb. The lucky people who were able to stay with the famous pair at their vacation retreat would also be able to do so for free. In return, Airbnb would make a donation to Thorn, an organization dedicated to ending the sexual exploitation of children. Ashton and Mila's white clapboard cottage has views of the ocean and the mountains, as well as an interior with a nautical palette, like ocean colors and white weathered woods, while there's also a gorgeous deck outside. When Mila and Ashton aren't vacationing near Santa Barbara, their main home is in Beverly Hills. The pair was working on building their sustainable dream house there for years, which is a stylish farmhouse mansion on six acres that's solar powered. It boasts a main house, guest house, entertainment barn, and much more. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher surprised their fans when they offered a chance at a one night stay at their Santa Barbara County guest house on August 19th. Not to mention it was completely free. In return, the booking platform would make a donation to Thorn, an organization dedicated to ending the sexual exploitation of children. Ashton told Mila his really dumb idea in an Instagram video recorded outside their beach home here, persuading his wife that they should have complete strangers come and stay with us at the beach. After the actress agreed that people would enjoy the experience, Ashton says, okay, so we're doing it. And that was that. Bookings for the guest house opened at 10 a.m. on the Wednesday prior for a one night stay on Saturday, August 19th. Guests were to be greeted by the famous couple and quote unquote, leave like we're old buds, which is what Ashton said in his Instagram caption. Airbnb called the place Ashton and Mila's oceanfront oasis and features light airy rooms as well as a hot tub, a large deck and a surrounding of trees. During their short but sweet stay, guests were invited to go for a hike on nearby trails, enjoy a cup of coffee on the beach, and soak in those summer rays. All of that without worrying about meals or snacks which would be provided. In order to have a chance at staying over, guests had to have an active Airbnb profile with a good track record, be able to provide a government issued ID, and let Ashton and Mila know if there are any allergies or dietary restrictions they should keep in mind. Listing photos on Airbnb provided a look inside the welcoming beachside resident. Mila and Ashton's white clapboard guest cottage boasts an interior with a nautical color scheme suitable for the location. Ocean shades of blue, weathered wood, wicker, and plenty of white. A deck outside offers a clear view of the Pacific Ocean and two Adirondack chairs to enjoy it on while the front of the home faces the Santa Inez Mountains. Mila and Ashton also advertise that the home is only minutes from the town center and steps away from the beach. The two bedroom cottage looked both comfortable and luxurious from photos. There was a laid back vibe perfect for a beach retreat, but also had everything you'd need like a fully outfitted kitchen, plush sleeping quarters, and a large selection of board games for some old fashioned family entertainment. It appears that Ashton and Mila's guest cottage is part of a slightly larger vacation spread in Santa Barbara County. Because according to records, in 2017, the couple spent $10.1 million cash on a two structure retreat here. Ashton and Mila's six bed, six bath beach house spans 3,100 square feet and is made up of two separate houses. The 2,000 plus square foot main house closer to the street and the one story 1,000 square foot cottage, which is the one they offered up on Airbnb. Inside the main house, wide plank, white oak floors, and lots of white paint make up the interior. The open kitchen and spacious dining area are perfect for entertaining guests, while a family room boasts blue couches for a pop of color as well as a fireplace. On the second floor, there's a large great room with vaulted ceiling, TV, fireplace, and walls of glass opening to a balcony overlooking the grounds and ocean. Of course, there's also a master suite for Ashton and Mila to enjoy complete with a large private porch of their own to relax on. Outside, a small estuary helps enclose the couple's home with a water barrier. There's also a charming fenced-in front yard. Like nearly all the other houses on the street, their place has no swimming pool, but I guess there's no need when your backyard is the ocean and they do have an above-ground hot tub. When they're not at their vacation home, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher's main residence is a custom farmhouse mansion the couple spent five years creating. Their sustainable dream property is in the heart of Los Angeles and they showed it off to Architectural Digest 
in 2021 when it was complete. The sprawling six acre property is located in Beverly Hills and boasts a main house that connects to a guest house and entertainment barn, as well as a separate barbecue pavilion. All of the structures are set up on a central axis to make the most of the views that surround the property. Mila said, we wanted a home, not an estate. And Ashton added, we wanted the house to look like an old barn, something that had been here for decades that was then converted into a house, but it also had to feel modern and relevant. The pair dubbed their home Cuckoo Farms, taking it from both of their surnames. Interiors offer plenty of reclaimed wood, floor to ceiling windows, as well as highlight pieces, like the couple's 10 foot crystal chandelier which anchors the entertainment barn and came with them from their former house. The rustic setting with a modern twist is a theme that continues through the couple's entire property. Ashton and Mila bought the Beverly Hills post office area property and then proceeded to demolish the barn turned house on the land, getting to work on building their compound. They hired architect Howard Bakken of Bakken and Gilliam Architects for the job too. A major bonus of the couple's contemporary farmhouse is that it's sustainable. Not only is it solar powered, other features that make it eco-friendly include the well on the property to irrigate the land, planted and harvested cornfields, agriculture prime soil and more. Main house boasts a light natural wood wraparound porch as well as plenty of greenery. And out back you'll find the barbecue pavilion and sparkling modern stone swimming pool. Inside the couple's home, the open living and dining room has a steep mansard roof along with a cozy fireplace concrete walls and oak floors. One side of this space boasts a piano and antique rug, as well as the large dining table with seating for 10. There's a hallway joining the main living area to the kitchen where we can also notice a bar on the way. And in the kitchen, there are designer pendant lights, a large island bar and a breakfast table. Ashton and Mila really love the way their custom farmhouse turned out though. And who could blame them? Ashton said, if the world around you isn't in order, it's hard to get your brain in order. When we're in our home, the world just makes sense. Elsewhere in the home, there's a gorgeous and plush master suite the couple shares, which has a lounge area in one corner with a window bench seat as well as an armchair. And there's also a private terrace. In the master bath, you'll find those special chairs from India near the standalone tub. There's also a study or office just off of the master bedroom. And another guest room boasts stylish yet rustic bunk beds. A romantic courtyard just off the house has views looking through the interiors and out to the panoramic hilltop views. As mentioned, the couple's crystal chandelier is the focal point of the entertainment barn. And there are also 19 foot tall glass sliders here and a custom sofa. This barn also doubles as the property's guest house and offers at least two bedrooms and a bath. After looking at Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher's main residence and their Santa Barbara vacation home, that'll bring today's tour to a close. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you got the chance to stay at one celebrity couple's property for the night, whose would it be? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!